live i think we are sweet we're live ledge awesome dude super psyched to be here it's awesome i'm happy that you Howdy, are everybody uh, you're here uh, dude let me check if i can monitor this somehow there you go so only thing is if we're doing um i i don't see chat so i see it on my side that. you have to okay. open another window if you want to and log directly on the uh on my youtube channel to see the chat yeah i could probably do that so we already have two people watching hey guys sweet chris salim here makes down online and lidge shaw from the recording studio rock stars lidge who's on with us let's give him a shout out so we have four watching please leave us your name in the chat window we want to know where where you guys are from what's your name and stuff and uh now it's uh jumping to six nice man i'm getting to your channel right now i want to cool. see cool same time so have you been uh ledge i'm doing good man yeah. i'm doing great oh there we go look at that love technology i'm doing great <laughs> the temperature is dropping in nashville tennessee it's starting to get chilly and start to feel a little bit like winter i know it doesn't feel anything like where you are chris new, new. we there. actually got snow today did you really yeah, wow. just a bit though yeah it's yeah it's starting unfortunately all we, all we got was a little bit of frost you know okay that's better than snow i, I you know i'm the guy who doesn't love winter that much so all right, man. I just dropped a hello into the chat. So I don't cool. see who's on there. But anyway, thank you so much for being here with us, everybody who's watching this now. Um, psyched to have you here. Uh, give us a hello in the in the chat there. Just like drop your name in or, or just say where you're from. Coming in from uh, Genoa, Italy. Awesome. Oh, there you go. Welcome. Thanks for Am being saying here. saying that man. right? Hopefully I'm saying that right. That's awesome. And, 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 and guys, don't forget yeah. to like the video and share so people can uh, can know that we are live at the moment. So um, I'm I'm psyched. I'm happy that Lidge is uh, with us tonight, and uh, it's a it's a big day, you know, for for Lidge tonight. It's the release of his new course, the Rock Stars of Drums, and um, he's going to take the time to share with us eight ways of uh, on recording drums. Ledge. Yes, awesome. So, um, again, psyched to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, really great to meet you, Chris. I love what you do with Mixed Down Online. I, I think you got a fantastic community of like serious and dedicated engineers, producers, musicians from all around the world. So it's a real honor to be here, hanging out with you guys. My new course is just launched, called Rock Stars of Drums, and um, I'm really excited to be bringing this to you. Basically, I've always been really, really passionate about recording, making music in the studio. And one of the instruments that's my absolute top-down favorite to, to record in the studio is the drums. There's something about recording a drum kit that is, um, I don't know, somehow it feels like the ultimate challenge in the studio. It's, it's the it thing is. that is like, I think for all of us, it's like the, the top measure of complexity when we're recording um editing or mixing in the studio yeah and and you know drums for me there's always been this element of um listening to a record a favorite record and for some reason or another i always just like gravitate towards the sound of the drums you know mm. if a song just has a really killer snare a kick and snare sound to it and the groove and the whole uh backbone and the rhythm of the track is really slamming it just makes me really enjoy the song. So it's one of the things that I really like to get right in a recording yeah. of my own too, because it, it just really feels satisfying. It is a so important step, you know, it's uh, like drums are so important in music and in a song in the mix. Um, it defines the entire vibe, I believe, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, so I, I wanted to create something where I was able to take all of this stuff that i've learned because when i started out doing this you know i didn't know anything about recording drums i didn't even know where you were supposed to put mics on a drum kit and many of the first early recordings i did um, were kind of a mess you know they didn't really sound right i mean it, it wasn't too hard for me to learn a few of the basics about like okay put a mic on the different drums and just kind of put some above the kit um, but there were a lot of times where i would work hard and on trying to get a song and i'd, I'd dig in and I'd put all this effort into the mix. Yeah. And 
what I'd end up with was something that just <laughs> sounded like crap. You know, it didn't really, it wasn't <laughs> exciting. Classic. Um, until I finally had a chance here in Nashville, Tennessee. I came down, uh, went to recording school, and then with my internship and then starting to work professionally in studios, I began to be around some real professional engineers and producers and people that really had a, a true understanding of how to make great records and how to get a great sound in the studio. And also, of course, I was really, really lucky to be around fantastic uh, professional session drummers. That's and cool. Yeah, so so when I started to experience that, then all of a sudden there was this real like light bulb going off an aha moment. And I started to see some of these tricks and techniques that these guys were all using in the studio. And I just had this um, aha moment about, um, you know, this is like the secret for getting great drum sounds. Um, and then, then, you know, for me, I started to get better sounds. And of course, you know, I've now had 20 years of, of recording professionally in studios all over the world um, with amazing musicians all over the place, um, all kinds of different styles. And so I've really, really had this ability to understand what goes into getting great drum sounds cool. and doing all this. And I thought that what I wanted to do was I wanted to create a course that would help you sort of be able to jumpstart your yeah. recording process and, and skip that, you know. If, if I could help you go from knowing something or not knowing anything about recording drums as quickly as possibly to understanding all these basic secrets of what it takes to get a pro drum sound, um, you would be able to make great records that much more quickly. And you could, you could have that experience where a band walks in and you've been tracking them in the studio and they walk into the control room and you just see their faces light up when they when you play back the session and the drums just sound huge and you know mm. everything sounds big and real and i want you guys to have that experience that that i've had in the studio where an artist comes in and they look at you and they're just like holy Amazing. crap you know like this this <laughs> sounds like a record already so that's that's like that's a really a rewarding feeling. experience you know that's so cool so, yeah, so uh, that that's where recording, uh, that's where Rock Stars of Drums comes from. And and what okay. we did was we uh, went into the studio and I brought in a professional session drummer, uh, Mike Rodovsky, who's played on many many records in Nashville and and worldwide. And we came into my Grammy awarded studio, the Toy Box Studio here in East Nashville, and we spent an entire day doing a full-on drum clinic where we explain all these different elements of what goes into tuning the kit, working with a with a drummer, um, dialing in your communication between the control room and the drum room, recording the drums, uh, also recording the drums a multitude of different miking techniques. Yeah so that you can get great sounds and you can work whether you have just a few mics or whether you want to do a full-blown pro multi-miking session. And um, we'll get into it more, but basically that's what Rocks Rockstars of Drums is all about. And I'll show you guys some more as we uh, get get further into this live stream. Hey, that's cool, Lidge. Um, I just want to say hi to, uh, we have uh, Alexandros right here from uh, Athens, Greece watching oh, we have michael from st louis missouri nice and we I have marco from uh, the uh, Swiss, switzerland la suisse and in kuala uh, lumpur wow and we have malaysia. salim from uh, malaysia awesome so you know people watching from around the world very cool well thank you again for being here guys so um basically yeah, you, should, should we jump into this? Uh, this. Let's jump to the uh, to the eight ways, you know, on uh, of recording drums. Okay, cool. Hang tight. Let me get a screen share going. Perfect. And I will walk you guys through this teaching, which is basically I put together. Can you see that? All right. Uh yeah. Uh, just a quick hi to Joao. Uh, Joao from Portugal. Awesome. And we have Antiosh. We have Van Allen, not Van Allen, but Van Allen from antioch tennessee you know that place lidge oh yeah antioch it's right around the corner oh Alan, cool and alan glad you're here awesome all right yeah so we see that let me okay perfect so we have the eight ways to record your drum kit yes with one two or three mics so basically i put together a simple guide to help you guys um understand some 
basic approaches to recording drums. These are uh, these are going to help you out if you're just starting out and you're looking for some simple ways to record drums, and maybe you don't have a whole lot of mics yet in your home studio. Um, and these are also really helpful, even to me, as a reminder of all the different opportunities that we have to record drums, different ways that we can approach it with each of our sessions. So mm. I'm I'm constantly, you know, I have a beginner's mind about recording, and I'm constantly being reminded of new ways to do things and learning this. So, you know, I wanted to start by saying, you know, if you're recording drums in your studio and maybe you only have a few mics, a lot of the times you might look at this and you might be thinking, how am I going to get a great sound of, with the drums without having a huge mic locker? You know, don't don't professional recordings have massive quantities of incredibly expensive mics to work with? And the answer is no, you don't need to do that. So you can actually get great drum sounds, get a really cool drum sound with just a few mics. Whether it's you've got actually surprising how good a drum can sound with only a few mics. Yeah, one, two, or three mics is totally plenty. Um, and there are actually some advantages to even using a few mics. So, um, for example, each mic can be relied on for a, for a fuller picture of the drum kit and a bigger tone. You can sort mm -hmm. of lean heavily on on each microphone, really delivering what it has to, uh, to bring to the picture. Um, you only have to have a few mics to get the phase right, the polarity between these different mics. And that's a big thing, you know, because phase is a big issue sometimes. You know, especially where you know when when we're using several microphones and stuff. You know, if we don't work on our phase, I mean, it can be a mess. You know, you can end up with a tiny sound. Exactly. So you you are more likely to end up with a focused phase coherent sound yeah. by having fewer elements to get right. Um, and then another advantage, of course, is your drum mixing process is going to be so much simpler because you're not going to have to sort through so many different elements and the mics to get the right balance. Um, and then and the final one, too, uh, point to point out is you're also, as a result, going to be able to rely on the skills of the drummer far more to get the sound right. Um, and it, so you won't really be the one to blame if the hi-hat is too loud, for example. You know, it's really you can just simply ask the drummer to dial in how they're playing it and, and uh, simplify. Because ultimately, you know, the sound is coming from the musicians anyway. Yep. So it's, yep, you're sort exactly. of removing yourself from the process. So the first one I want to tell you about is just this one. It's just if you've got one mic and you want to start recording drums, this is what I recommend. Um, by recording drums with one mic, you can really experiment with moving the mic around, trying different mic placement, understanding what it sounds like. Because when you, you know, if you if you approach this and you throw five, six, seven mics at a drum kit all at once, it's a bit of overwhelm with what's going on with everything. It's going to be a lot harder for you to really understand what each sound is doing and how it's either adding or screwing up your overall drum sound. So starting with one just gives you that option or that opportunity to really get to know what happens when I put the mic here. You know, what if I put mm -hmm. it over here? All that. And one of my favorite ones is this, what I call the single mic soul technique. And this is one that I learned about from uh, a friend of mine, Goffrey here, who was telling me about the, the way the Dap Kings record their drums. And they're just a great old school soul funk band. And um, this is really cool where you just bring it in close between the kick and the snare. You can actually put that mic, if you want to, you can go underneath the snare. Hey, tell me if this zoom works. Do you see that zooming in like that? The zooming yeah. in? No, it's not no. zooming for you. Okay, no, great. No. I, I won't do it like that then. But you can move this mic underneath the snare if you want. It can be in front where it's seeing the, the beater of the kick drum and it's seeing the side of the snare. And just experiment with different ways um, of positioning this mic. And then when you run that mic through some good compression, if you put a compressor after it, like two to one, four to one, you're kind of you're gonna really kind of need compression for this sound to work. But what that does is that sort of controls the louder drum hits, but it also enhances the bleed of the sound of the things like the hi-hat that's sneaking into this mic. And you can get a really groovy sound that is super cool mm -hmm. and simple. And you know it'll be mono, of course, and, and right up the middle or wherever you want to pan it. But it, it really can sound cool. And just by moving the mic around, you're going to get bigger kick you're gonna get more beater you yeah. can get less beater you can get more of the snares more of the top yeah, at this point you know, it's to experiment with the position of the microphone yeah 
So um, try that out. Check it out. You know, if you don't have enough of a sound, just simply move it around and until you finally do. Now, so, I, I just want to point out something, Lich, um, just for, so you guys know. Uh, in the description okay, of the video, there's the link to get uh, to Lidge's course and there's a special a special um, uh, sale price for you guys tonight okay only available for uh, during the live stream okay so it's there's a special code for a 20% off because there's a 10% off is course until tomorrow night but you guys have an extra 10 so 20% off uh, the details are in the description down below so check it out that's right man thanks for bringing that up and mention that again before we get digging into all these slides yeah, exactly. So go ahead. Um, and just a reminder, it's just for this live stream. I, I exactly, really yeah. appreciate you guys having me on here. So I wanted to do something special for all of you. So thank you for thank you for that. Um, all right. So then this one, of course, is another technique you can use for a single mic, and it's just a, a single overhead. So it's really kind of an extension of what we were just doing, but it's sort of the the earliest way that I think drums were being recorded, and it's a very common one that was done a lot in you know early drum recordings, um, and you just simply find a position looking down at the drum kit. Yep. Um, if you can make it so that the mic can see all the different elements, then that's going to tend to give you a pretty good overhead sound on the drums. And um, you know, once you get this going, if you find that you really want to hear a little more kick and snare too, you can always just take a couple of mics and throw them on the kick, uh, throw them on the kick, throw it on the snare, cool. and add a little bit more focus and punch to your sound that way too. But such a simple thing, it really sounds great, and you know, it's it's not often that we remember to try something as simple as a mono overhead. No, exactly. But that's uh, cool. what, what kind of microphone you would uh, would go with. Well, you know, as case. far as microphones, I say you would use whatever you got to start <laughs> out. Um, but I, in these pictures, of course, I just used a Shure SM57 uh, as an example because for a couple of reasons really one is because it's such a common microphone and it's so affordable and it's a great starter mic for anybody's studio as far as learning how to record um two is because i've actually recorded drums many times and you know early on in particular with an sm57 mm -hmm. i still use it a lot on things like the snare or um, other direct drums but even as overheads, it's worked out great. My band has done records. You know, some of our early records were nothing more than an SM57 for overhead mics. And that's it. And they really sound great. Some there people swear by them as hi hat mics. Yeah, yeah know. I know. I know. I yeah, I tried it myself. But you know, Works beyond well. that, uh, any mic is is worth listening to. But I think if you find yourself using something like a large diaphragm condenser. That's going to give you a big full picture. It's going to get yeah, really hot. Sure. Small diaphragm condensers can sound really great too, and um, they might have a little bit more of a high end focus. Maybe maybe they won't pick yeah. up quite as much. But, you know, production. whatever you have, whatever you have access to, just try it out. You know. Yeah. And guys, don't forget if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the uh, the live chat. Okay, please leave us your questions, and we'll get to them for sure. Yeah, and I'm seeing the live chat now too, off to the side. So I'll Perfect. see your questions, everybody. All right, that's cool. Hey, there's a Greg Norman from Australia. Is this a Greg Norman that I already know? It might Maybe. be. Maybe. This Greg Norman has been on the podcast before. Hey, welcome from aboard, Electrical man. Audio. Australia, awesome. <laughs> right on. Um, okay. Also, so if you've got a pair of mics, then this is the next one I wanted to show you. This is uh, the first simplest one to learn. Is just a spaced pair. So it's as simple as that. That's you can it. you can do this with either cardioid mics or omni mics. And I should have mentioned on the first single mic, a cardioid or an omni mic would both work just fine. Um, you know, if you end up having a ribbon mic, for example, that that's most likely going to be a figure eight mic. Which yeah, is, definitely. You know, yeah, you know, it picks up behind the mic and it picks up in front of the mic. But with the space pair, what you essentially do is you take one of the mics. And you go above the hi hat and the snare and the rack tom, and you point it down, and you just try and get a good image of those that side of the drum kit. Okay. And then on the other side, you point it down at the ride and the floor tom, and then the, you know the kick may be somewhere in between these two mics. And you can take these now in your mix, and you can pan one out to the left and one out to the right, um, depending on. Let's see. I don't know. If this this would be an audience perspective looking at this drum kit. So. If you pan them out hard and the snare or the kick is sort of in equal distant or generally about the same distance, then those will stay in the middle of your drum mix. Um, 
but but generally with this one, you won't get anything exactly in the middle. You'll just get a cool stereo sound, and you don't have to pan these all the way out either. You could just you could pan them like uh, nine o'clock and three o'clock, or That's even it, just you know. you know a little bit off the center, and it can still just fill out this sound. So cool sound cool. out of that. Awesome. And, and if you are if you're getting too much room, just move these down closer to the drums. And if you're getting too much drum, you know, just move them further away into the room. Cool, love it. All right, so now here's another stereo miking technique. Um, this one is the what's called the ORTF stereo pair, and this actually is a, a Francais term, right? So this comes from France. This is the Office de Radio Diffusion Television Francais. Voilà. You, I need you to say that. There you go, Francaise. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, needs the accent. Yeah, and so what this is, is this is a standard that was set by French radio and television um, to have, you know, if you're going to record lots of stuff, you need standards. And they had to come up with one that would be easy for people to record in stereo, would give cool. a good mono compatibility as well. Um, and also, this has the benefit of you could use a stereo bar for these two mics and mount it onto one bar and one single mic stand. So you get the advantage of only needing one overhead stand to do this. But the, oh, these are awesome. I love these. Yeah, so the trick with this is the mics need to be 110 degree angle away from each other. And um, that gives you a nice stereo spread. And then also you want to have the capsules of the two mics be about 17 centimeters apart. Cool. And that gives you like basically what seems to work well for stereo. Now, in all honesty, I've done this miking a number of times and I never have a protractor that I can measure 110 degrees. <laughs> so I always <laughs> just wing it and it sounds great. You know, you can you can make it wider by moving these mics further further away from each other or angling them further and you can make it narrower narrower by pointing them closer and of course you can also decide that you really want this mic to point more down at the snare if you want you just like that sound you know or this one points more at the floor and there's that's fine there's no hardcore rules about this cool all right so let's nice. see next next one here this is a great one this is a, a classic I one, yeah and, i actually love this one and it's so simple it's the xy coincident pair so what this is, is you just take two mics. It's a little tricky to see in this picture, but what this is, is one is coming over the other, and it's almost like this one's in front and this one's behind a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to get these two capsules um, as close as possible to each other. Oh, I should point something out. Go back. Yeah, go ahead. For this ORTF, these do need to be cardioid mics. So we, you can't get this effect using Omni mics. No, for sure. Because you want to have the directionality. Yeah. These are pointing in each direction. So that helps give the stereo. Same thing with the XY coincident pair. These need to be cardioid mics. So one of them is aiming this way, and the other is aiming this way, you know? And But they're on top of each other so closely that any of these sounds reaches, the direct sound reaches yeah. both mics at the same time. That's cool. But the directionality of these mics is what gives you the impression of stereo because the higher frequencies are coming from this direction or this direction on each of these mics. But the lower frequencies are generally hitting both mics the and same. And the beauty of this is phase relation. Yeah. Which is non existent there. Yeah. So you get a total phase coherency. In fact, yep. these mics t tend to sound pretty mono with a very subtle stereo effect. Exactly. So that's a cool one to use and check that out. Um, next up, this one's a lot of fun. This is a great home studio recording technique uh, called the Recorder Man. And it's a little tricky to show in this picture, but what that is is one mic above the kit that's looking down, and it's sort of above the tom area and the snare. And what you do is you set this mic to where you think it's getting a good sound on its own as an over mono overhead. And then you take a string and you go from the center of the snare drum. Let's see if I get the big, there you go. You see the big arrow? <laughs> yeah, now it's you go big. from the center of the snare drum, you run the string up to this mic, and then you run it down to the kick drum beater. And then you take the second mic and you put it back sort of behind your right shoulder and you you rotate this string, you keep it on the snare, keep it on the kick, and then you rotate this string down 
and it kind of goes down and over because the strings on a um, you kind of have to see it in 3D, and that's one of the beauties of what we do with rock stars of drums. Yeah, because you explained that pretty well. Yeah, we really the, show an example. We show it in yeah. real time. You can see it. You the moving camera going around the drum kit. You can really yeah. understand how this works. But you find the second position where this is on the same apex of the triangle, and it's the same distance from the snare, and it's the same distance from the kick. So I apologize if this uh, graphic here is a little, you know, out of perfect measurement. I had to do that on, you know, using the tools I had. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what club. happens is you take this when you're going to mix and you take one of these mics and you pan it all the way left and you take the other mic, you pan it all the way right. And because they're the same distance to the center of the snare and the center of the kick, that means that the snare and the kick continue to maintain a perfect center image in your mix. Cool. So you get a really, really cool sound that way. Very natural sound. It's very cool. Nice. Okay, now this one looks really similar, but right, it's before we go forward. Oh, yeah, okay? please. Yeah, please. All right, guys. Um, first of all, thank you for being here tonight on this uh, live session with Lidge Shaw. Um, again, you know, if uh, you have any questions, feel free to leave them into the, the live chat directly. And um, don't forget to like, to share, okay, so people know we are live. And uh, Lidge um, has a special discount for you only during the stream okay so there's an extra 10 percent off is rockstars of drums course and the link is actually in the description down below okay the code is there as well and this is only going to be available tonight and i'm talking about the special 10 extra 10 percent off the course yeah so actually it's a it's a full 20 percent off yeah basically yeah so yeah because yeah, so we already have a 10 percent off until tomorrow and on top of that, we're gonna we're adding an extra ten only for tonight for yeah. during the live stream. Yeah. So again, thank you guys for being here with us and and let me join you tonight. That's awesome. All right. So uh, shall we move on? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Cool. So we're back. This is it looks very similar to what we just did, but this is a this is called the Glenn Johns technique. So Glenn Johns was a very famous engineer, producer. He's worked with bands like the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, the Who. And he came up with this technique of miking the drums during a Led Zeppelin session where he famously accidentally discovered this. Um, so he would normally record the drum with a single overhead mic. But one day during a recording session with Led Zeppelin, the assistant what took this other mic was actually, it, it might be a little lower than this um, in the picture. You know, it's a little high in the picture, but it would typically maybe be a little lower. But it, there was a guitar amp over here to the side and the mic was on it. And they just um, moved the mic away from the guitar amp and accidentally set it over here to the side of the drums. And they were listening in the control room and the, the this mic was still panned over to the side for the guitar, but it was an input on the tape machine. So all of a sudden they heard this brand new drum sound. You'd think <laughs> the two mics on a drum would be like obvious, but of course this had to come, you know, somebody had to think of it the first time. But this was this new sound for them where you were hearing this mic bringing in the whole kit, but you also heard this one panned over to the side. And I think they were both kind of panned a little bit. Yeah. And it just had this great big full stereo sound. So it's very similar to the recorder man. But in this case, you really just um, kind of, the panning isn't quite so extreme. That's what I find. I find with the Glenn Johns, you can't do the full hard left and right panning and get away with it as much. But if you pan this one just a little bit off to the side, and then this one you can pan more off to yeah, the side. It's gonna sound way more natural. Yeah, you get this natural drum kit tone that really feels balanced and it's got a great exactly. thing. And this is really picking up the floor tom and this one's really picking up the, the rack tom. And it's just a cool sound. So experiment with that, try that out, cool. and have fun with it. It is a pretty cool technique, actually. I love it. Now, this is another one, um, the space triple method, the space triple technique here. And what this does is this is helpful if you're in a room in your home studio that maybe the room itself doesn't sound that great. Um, and you're feeling like you can never really get away with moving that mic up above the drums enough, uh, excuse me, you can never move this mic 
above the drums enough because the room always, you yeah. know, the drums are bouncing off the walls right into the mic kind of thing. <laughs> so this one gives you an ability to um, also, you know, when I do this in my studio, a lot of times I'm using a Coles 4038 ribbon mic for this. Oh, yeah. And I get this great sound where it needs to come down to get the right sound. But I still want to hear more hi-hat and more ride and give it a little stereo. And nice. so I'll put condenser mics off to either side. That's a good idea. But I want to give some credit too to uh, Graham Cochran of Recording Revolution because I've seen him use this technique too, um, particularly in a home studio, where this allows you to bring in the mics closer to the drum kit and then pan them out to get a full stereo sound, mm. but, but you still get all the elements of the drum kit in the mix because of the way they're all within proximity of each of these, you know? Awesome. And I think that's my last slide there. Cool. Wow. Hey, thanks, so, Lich. Uh, yeah, man. My pleasure, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> that was cool. I hope that wasn't too long or too heady. No, it wasn't. And you, you explain a lot of these techniques in your course. Yeah. So, um, again, if you really want to better understand these different miking techniques for the drums, if you want to dig deep into everything from you know tuning the drum kit and really understanding how to get the drums themselves to sound great, how to mic them up in these different configurations, uh, if you are just curious about what these different mic configurations sound like on a drum kit and you really want to just kind of hear it with a, with a pro drummer and sort of see what the effect is like, that's the stuff that you're going to find inside of rock stars of drums. So um, let me let me show you guys inside here. And uh, let's see, where are we? Yeah. Just first, we have a question here from Van Allen. Uh, does the type of floor, flooring, make a big difference in the quality of the drum recording? Yes, I would say definitely it does. I think you can tell just by hearing it yourself. Um, one of the very first sessions I did was with um, uh, Craig Cramp, who's a famous drummer who played on Eye of the Tiger and Betty, yeah. Betty Davis Eyes, great, great drummer. And um, he had me take the rug that was in the control room or in the in the drum room rather okay. and roll it up so that it was coming back towards the kick drum. So we actually exposed the concrete floor more in the drum room okay. and it made a huge difference immediately. So don't be afraid to take anything you've got, throw it on the hard floor to deaden it or take everything the up opposite. off the hard floor and give it Make a listen and see what line. it sounds like. Cool. And you and you'll hear it pretty quickly. And then also Michael Beinhorn, who was on my podcast recording Studio Rockstars, he talked about constructing a special plywood platform to put the drums on. Yeah. And you, and you I've can heard actually, about that. Yeah, like tighten the wood down so it'll keep the kick drum in place and rigid, but it also gives it this really explosive tone for the drums. So definitely a cool thing to do and experiment with. Perfect. Yeah. So let's go through uh through the course. Okay, great. Let's see. Where am I going to take you first? So uh, we've been through, we've been there, been there. All right. So this is the the uh, landing page for Rockstars of Drums. So I wanted to just kind of show you guys quickly what's going on here and what you're likely to see if you want to go check this out. And again, as Chris mentioned, you can follow the link right below this video, and that should take you directly to his affiliate link. And also, I've created a special coupon code for you guys that will give you a 20% off um, discount if you go buy the drums, uh, the Rockstars of Drums course right now on this live webinar. I wanted to give you guys that special deal. Um, you just that's use awesome. yeah, M MDO20 is the coupon code that's going to get you that discount right now. Nobody else is getting that discount, so <laughs> take only advantage tonight. of it. Only yeah. tonight. And only while we're on this webinar right now. So feel free to open up another tab, go check it out, and um, and you can go grab it before we're over. But uh, stay with us as well, because I'm going to show you guys what you got here. So this is this takes you in, kind of explains what's going on, talks about some of the frustrations that we have, you know, my experience with recording drums, what I wanted to do as a solution for you guys. And um, are you trying to uh, share? Oh, yeah. Me? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm not sharing yet. <laughs> so thanks for thanks for reminding me there. All right, great. So let's go into, um, let me get this. This is probably you right now, right? Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, okay, we're, we're All here. right, can you see it? All right, okay, yep. groovy. Sorry about that. No problem. All right, so when you click on the link, it's going to take you to the landing page, um, kind of gives you a walkthrough. This is fantastic trailer video, video here that will really give you a feel for what it was like to be at the live clinic. Um, the... Uh, 
there's a blurb kind of tells you about me if you don't know. Again, I explain what's going on in the whole thing, so you can check that out. Um, talk about some of the uh, struggles and the pain points of recording drums, and uh, I really like that gif right there. Can you see that? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> this guy rocks. That's basically how I felt when I was trying to get good drum sounds, you know? Oh, yeah. Classic. So if you feel that way, go uh, go dig into this. You, I, I promise you, you, you will uh, be glad you did. Um, there's the course right there. Uh, when you're ready to go purchase, you find the Buy Now button right in there. And then if you want to keep checking out some more shots inside it, you'll see stuff where we talk about being in the studio. Here's Mike Radovsky with his beautiful um, Gretsch kit that he brings to all his pro sessions. Man, these drums sound so good. Because by yeah. the way, guys, I watched the, uh, the entire course. And yeah, so I'll talk to you more about that later. But yeah, thank you. And and um, you know, that was one of the reasons why I really wanted to work with Mike is because he's such a pro and he has such a great drum sound, and it made it um, it, it made it uh easy to be able to show off all these different variations of miking up the drum kit. But here you can see we're in the classroom, you know, in the control room, and I'm walking through different recording techniques and editing and mixing techniques for the drums. Uh, we do walkthroughs, and we've got our video crew out here shooting as well um, so that you can actually see all the miking positions on the drums, um, all the different techniques we're using. This is probably getting into the Glenn Johns technique already right there. Um, we do a lot of Q&A and everything. You're going to get... This is basically you can you can log into the site anytime you want. Watch this on your desktop or cool. your your mobile device and see what's going on. You get full screen share where you can see what's going on on my Pro Tools rig with the multi tracks. Uh, in fact, you get downloadable multi tracks of all the drum sessions that we recorded, and it's all timestamped too, so that you can follow along while you're. Um, listening to this and watching this in your DAW. If you have Pro Tools, you can just load it right in. If you've got a different one, any other DAW, you can just load these files directly into your DAW and go from there and build up the the, uh, the drum mix cool. yourself. So it's kind of cool to be able to experiment. You can solo different tracks. You can listen in on all these different sounds and see what you get. Um, again, if you were, if you wanted to do all this stuff yourself, um, that was one of the big pain points for me. Is I know that when you're doing sessions, you know, you you we get comfortable with the ways that we record stuff, and we know that there are these other ways to record and try out and get get great drum sounds. But oftentimes we're we're nervous about you know we don't have the time or we don't have, don't have the energy to spend on a session doing that. So that's what I wanted to do for you. Now, of course, if you wanted to do this yourself, you know, hire a Nashville pro session drummer, um, find a chart breaking producer engineer, that's me, and a team to teach you all the tricks, <laughs> or book a Grammy winning recording studio with killer drums, awesome microphones, and vintage console for a day, that's going to cost you thousands of dollars. And that's not fair to you because you should be able to get and learn how to do all kinds of great drum, drum sounds from your own home studio, no matter where you are, which is why I put the course together and put the whole thing together for a low price of 97. However, I've got a special for you guys. So as we were discussing, I'm doing a Black Friday special all this week. Um, how? Uh, so there will be, if you buy Rockstars of Drums, you get, uh, you get all these bonuses down here, but I wanted to make this special deal just for you guys. So for tonight on the live stream, 20% off, Rockstars of Drums, if you get it during the live stream, use the code MDO20, and that's going to knock the price of all this stuff down to about $87. Um, use Chris's affiliate link right here, which is in the show notes below this video. Uh, it's just mixdown.online forward slash rockstars of drums, and that'll take you right to the sales page. But let me tell you about some of the bonuses that I'm throwing in too, because this actually, is actually you know what, Lidge? I think yeah, I think it's even lower than this. You know, if you go back one step, okay, about eighty-seven. It's about seventy-seven dollars actually. Oh, is it really? I'm sorry, yeah. I must have uh, miscounted. So that was only the 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 ten. Oh, that was the ten percent. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> hey, look at this. Live corrections. There you go. Seventy-seven. On YouTube, just like that. Yeah. It's a good thing I was still in my document here and I could do that for you. <laughs> All right, great. Thank you for pointing that out. That's cool. Uh, thanks, guys. So then, um, yeah, so here's the bonuses, right? So I also have, uh, you know, the Rockstars of Drums is over six hours of training videos where we're walking through all these things 
And that already as is is a $97 value. But I'm also throwing in my complete mixing clinic webinar replay that I did with Josh Harris, who's a professional producer. He does uh, pop music, he does EDM tracks. He's out of St. Louis and uh, produces all around the world, New York, all kinds of places. And we did a mixing clinic where we walked through an entire mix from start to finish of a cool. um, song he did with a pop artist. And you're going to get that complete thing, including the uh, Q&A sessions that we did and the specific um, walkthrough stuff where we did mix reviews on a whole series of songs where we talk about ways to improve mixes. So this is a really fantastic course. And again, another $97 value. I'm going to throw that in for free nice. just as a Black Friday special for you. And this is only for this week, like all these bon bonuses. Yeah, the bonuses are for this week. But of course, you guys get the super special bonus, which is take 20% off right now. If That's you, if the you night only during the, the live stream. Yeah. By the way. And, and then I'm also throwing in my other rock stars of mastering course. So what this is, is I have my record Skadoosh, which is where you find the theme song for recording studio rock stars, the podcast. And it's a, it's an album of nine instrumental rock tracks. Um, I'm proud to say they're awesome. I love them. I hope you love them too. Um, I've gotten great feedback from people who really, really enjoyed the record. A lot of great guitar tones on there. Oh, yeah. Great drum sounds. And what I've done is I have remastered this course and you're going to get the, um, or excuse me, I've remastered the record and will deliver you the high res WAV files in 24 bit 48K so you can really hear what this stuff sounds like in the studio. And then after I remastered it, I did a complete walkthrough video series where I take you through the entire mastering process inside of PreSonus Studio One. So I use their uh, project feature in there to master albums from my studio. And cool. I show exactly how you can do that in your own home studio, whether you're, no matter what DAW you're in, you don't have to be in PreSonus. You could do the exact same things in any DAW, but it takes you through the whole process of EQ, compression, understanding limiting and multiband compression, understanding uh, saturation and tape saturation, and then final level adjustment and finding you know perfect dynamic range target values um, to make sure that your record sounds killer. So you're going to get that, which is, again is uh, already at a stupidly low value of $27 uh, because I really wanted you to be able to have that. And then uh, the final thing that I'm offering here too is I'm going to invite you, all of you take advantage of this offer during Black Friday week. I'm going to invite you all into an exclusive Q&A webinar session with me to talk all about rock stars of drums and dig deep into any questions that you have, basically with the goal of getting to be able to meet you in person live on a webinar and also um, specifically address all the questions that you might have for getting great drum sounds in your studio. So no question is uh, off limits and anything you want to know or ask about drums is totally fair game. Cool. I know you love uh, interaction. Yeah. So <laughs> here, I'll, I'm going to turn it back over to you guys, but I thought I would show you what it looks like inside here. So this That's is cool. inside the course. Um, I have a, a wonderful hosting site that makes this stuff so easy to uh, zip through, keep track of your progress, easily get from video to video, go through all the different elements of what took place in the, in the clinic, all the different uh, teaching segments. Uh, you also get the downloadable readme files, the timestamps for the sessions. You get links to oh, download the, uh, the sessions themselves. It's all right in there. Cool. And uh, so it's lo loaded with content. There's 17 videos. There's actually over 17 videos in here that take you through the entire process of it's all over the six mic hours total. Yeah, so content. it's plenty of cool stuff. And of course, I've what I've done is I took the original, I took the original course and um, edited everything down to edited consumable videos that yeah. make it easy for you to go through these modules one at a time. I remixed all the audio to make it sound as good as possible so that it was really easy to just listen to in your studio or on your iPhone or wherever you want to listen to this. And then I remastered it as well so that it's really focused and just gives you a great experience. Yeah. Something I liked about this course, because I, you know, like I said earlier, I went through the, the entire course a few weeks back because you 
you gave me access to the course and um i was just the fact that it was in the form of a webinar in a um because you had like people on site as well yeah um, you know there was like a lot of interactions you know and a lot of questions and on the spot you know so i think that that part of the course was was different that what we're used to see you know when we we, we get into a course of of that sort so that was pretty interesting to me you know just to 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 it almost felt like i was in the studio with with eulage so yeah well, thanks, man. That was one of the things I really loved about it was just being able to interact with everybody. And so the beauty of it, of course, is um, having the students here at the same time and the webinar students is uh, you get all the right questions. You know, you get all the real world stuff. Um, yeah. You know, the the real problem that I wanted to solve for you and your home studio and also for all the, the students who are able to be here with us are you know just making sure that you don't have to record crappy drums that you get to record great sounding drums as quickly as possible um you know a, a big struggle for people too was feeling like they had to rely too much on program drums and you know program drums are a wonderful tool and they can be really helpful but so often the real differentiator between a, a pro record when you're dealing with working with bands, you're doing rock stuff, particularly in Nashville too, um, it's a very distinct thing in country music and, and Americana music. You know, there's a real appreciation of real drums being yeah. recorded well. And that's sort of the differentiator between a pro record sound and something that sounds more like a demo. That's cool, Lidge. That's awesome. So um, guys, again, the link is actually Add on, the, add on the the link right uh, down the screen. By the way, so, but it's still in the uh, description down below. So you have until the end of this uh, live stream to get your uh, special twenty percent off. Yeah. And um, or else, and please you know, remember to use Chris's affiliate link too, which is in the link there. So that makes sure that um it goes through to the proper sales page. Cool. So um, anything let's, to add? The list. Yeah. Let's let's do some uh, questions. Let's see if we got any Q Q yeah. and A people. Cool. cool, perfect. So, so in, in in the first part, you know, why did you uh, you wanted to produce a course on drums? Well, I mean, really, you know, again, it was um, just the drums have always been a real passion for me, and uh, I, you know, I had I knew what it was like to struggle through this stuff, and um, I have acquired a great deal of knowledge and I wanted to be able to share that with you. So, I wanted to help you avoid recording crappy drums. I wanted to help you have that experience of having a band walk in and go holy shit this sounds amazing <laughs> i can't believe you made us sound so good that is like the best feeling in the world when you're working yeah. with other artists if you're recording your own music i wanted you to have the same experience you're like the holy shit i can't believe my drums sound so great um and i wanted to also help you avoid that that feeling you know have you ever played a mix for somebody and you're showing them a song you're working on or something and that and you kind of you begin by apologizing for it before before you press play you know like oh yeah this is just a this is just a, a rough mix or or this is just um yeah well i had to use program drums on this you know i wanted you to be able to skip that and just kind of really be able to record great drums and just have that wonderful experience of making a record that sounds like a pro record in your studio that's cool now okay you have a nice studio Okay, you have a, you have a, like a a large space, uh, maybe not too large, but um, maybe not as small as some home studios, you know, out there. Now, yeah. um, so if someone has a like most of us, you know, we are into a home studio, small size room and stuff. Will this course have some value if someone is what you know, someone watching is uh, has a a small home studio? Definitely. So all the stuff that we talk about in the course, all the different miking techniques, all the approaches to how to work with the drums, all the editing tricks, all the mixing tricks, they all are perfectly applicable to any home studio. They work just as well in a home studio as they do in a pro studio. And in fact, my studio is a wonderful place, but it's actually, it's like right in between, um, you know, it's not a huge gigantic space. Um, and yet at the same time, it's it's kind of similar to a home studio. It's a real homey vibe here. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, for me, my experience, I've gotten some of the greatest drum sounds I've ever had in home studios. Um, you have an advantage in a home 
where you might have multiple rooms that you can actually try out that all have different unique flavors and sounds for recording drums. Now, granted, not everybody's going to let you take drums into the kitchen, but you know, if you have that <laughs> no. to try that out, you actually can get all kinds cool, of good sounds. So, you know, and then stuff I was showing you with like the, the triple mic technique, those are specifically designed towards trying to, um, you know, help solve some of the issues that might happen in a home studio as well. So everything shown in the course can be applied to all, you know, all sorts of gear. Uh, let's say, you know, the people, you know, because I'm pretty sure someone's going to ask me, you know, what if I, you know, only have like three microphones or cheap microphones? I don't have access to like a high quality microphone. Um, will this bring me value? Yes, definitely. So, um, you know, you're going to see things like the Lidgeman technique, which actually uses three mics. Um, that involves uh, the recorder man technique. And then I did a special adaptation of it where I actually added another mic that's positioned just right for the kick drum. And using those three mics, you know, I was able to get one of my favorite drum sounds ever in the studio. And the other beauty of it is, if you're curious about any of the miking techniques that we used where we might have had more mics up, because we, we did have a bunch of mics on the drum kit, but I would mute them in the Pro Tools session while we were working and narrow it down to the ones we were focusing on. So you'll have the ability to see what I was listening to and also listen to any of those mics in any combination that you want to see how you like that particular sound. And you can, you know, you can make up your own mind. You can pick and choose your favorite way of micing the, the drums based on the different ways that we did so that you can kind of cut right to the, the right answer for your studio. Yeah. What, what do you think young engineers and uh, home studio owners struggle uh, the most with? with well, I think it's when it comes to recording drums. I think that one of the things that we struggle with a lot, and I talk about this in the course, is over compression. Um, if you actually have hardware compressors, you know, you can, and you start recording things, your, your drum mics through it, there's a tendency to, to get too excited by the power of, of over compressing those sounds. And so I show you um, ways that I approach recording the mics so that I get the most flexibility later on in the mixing process to not have an over compressed drum sound. Um, I talk about how to make sure that your drums are, um, when you're mixing them, that you're getting the right kind of punch and, and uh, attitude out of your drums. And then also, you know, stuff I was talking about earlier, just like this is, this is going to help you avoid that frustration of recording crappy sounding drums, particularly because of polarity. You know, the, the polarity yeah. and phase problems is the number one struggle that I think everybody's dealing with in a home it studio. Is. And so I go through the entire process that I use here in my pro studio of phase checking the polarity on the drums during okay. sound check and doing it really quickly. So I show you how I would go about it in such a way that you can get this done before any session and not ever, you know, have, feel like it's something that you have to skip. Now we have Maspino here asking a question about uh, minimum is one microphone. What is the maximum in your experience? So in rock stars of drums, the maximum that we used here was 14 mics. So we take you I through the process. Yeah. Yeah. I so the, lot, yeah. the 14 mic is basically uh, miking every individual drums. It's stereo overheads. It's uh, having an ambient mic. It's having a stereo room mics. It's, it's you know, doing top and bottom on the snare. Maybe like um, a shit mic as well. Yeah, shit mic as well. And, and, you know, those are all very cool things. You know, and again, there's no rules about this stuff. You can always experiment by throwing any mic in. But I will say that from experience, you're more likely to run into problems when you try and use too many mics on the drums than when you narrow it down to the ones that you really need and just stick to those. Yeah, definitely. I've used, you know, like 14, 15 microphones on, on drum recordings. And at some point, it's not, you know, when, when you get to mixing and stuff, you, you end up, you know, not using all of them anyway. So, yeah. Hey, I thought I'd just point out one more time for anybody yeah. who's jumping on um, the call right now, um, jumping on late. Let me take you guys back here and show you what's going on. So while we're on this live webinar, again, we're just doing Q&A now until we kind of wrap up. But you have the chance to get 20% off of Rockstars of Drums if you use Chris's affiliate link, which is in the show notes right below this video. Oh, yeah. I'm, I thought I was screen sharing. Mixdown.online Rockstars of Drums. And we have the special discount code uh, MDO2020. There we go. 
Yeah, I was trying. I was trying to screen share again. I need a. I need like a button that just like instant insta screen. But uh, can you see that right? Yep. Okay, great. So yeah, so that you get the twenty percent off coupon code, which is good while we're on this webinar. So please feel free to jump over and go use it right now. In fact, you can actually go into the checkout. Um, the first thing that happens. Let me show you guys what that looks like. The when you go to the um, the window to arrive here, you, you get at the top and then you've got the buy now button and there's a couple more on the sales page. Just click on that and uh, you add your name and email and you put in a password and then you say create account. Um, and when you get to the very next page, uh, there's gonna be a coupon code and you can enter the coupon code and it'll drop the price down to the special price. You could go do that now while we're on this webinar and lock that page in and stay with us and then kind of go finish it out with the, with the purchase after we finish if you if you need to. I just wanted to let you know that you kind of have that ability to, uh, to go kind of check out the coupon, test it, make sure it's working for you. Cool. Um, and then again, a reminder, I'm also for Black Friday throwing in my Rockstars of Mixing course, which is another additional six hours of mixing walkthroughs, Q&A, mix breakdowns, where we're actually coaching through um, ways to fix challenged mixes. So these are these are all the kind of pain points and problems that I see a lot of people talking about and really wanting help with is like, you know, so how can I improve more, my mix? You're getting more than one course. Yeah, exactly. For this week only. Now, now that you know these extra bonuses that you include in uh, in the deal, um, they're going to be on all week until. Yeah, the bonuses will be around all week. So you can, uh, if you can't, uh, for some reason, take advantage of the twenty percent off right now on this call. Uh, there is actually a ten percent off code, which is still good tomorrow, and um, Chris will have that for you in his email as well. Yeah. And then also the. Uh, these these bonuses are will continue to be available all week for uh, because you know we're all busy this week so <laughs> I know that uh, sometimes these a great deal comes along and you want to take advantage of it but uh, you know you're still slicing the turkey if you're here in the U S exactly <laughs> are you guys you guys don't have a turkey to slice do you Chris um, you know what the funny thing I, I did mine yesterday we have Thanksgiving in October oh really no here kidding. in Canada yeah um, but. You know, I, you know, I had family over uh, yesterday and everything, so I just decided to make a turkey, anyways. And uh, yeah, so I had, I still had a turkey in November. Nice. Well, so, that's so me. La last reminder here is the um, the other two items is the rock star of mastering, where I do a complete high res delivery of my remastered album, plus two hours of videos that walk you through the entire mastering process so that you can master your record in any DAW from your home studio. Um, I use a series of different plugins, but of course you would be able to explain how you could use stock plugins to uh, accomplish the same results too, or similar results. And then I'm also inviting all of you to a special exclusive Q&A webinar with me um, so around rock stars of drums that will let us, you know, meet live on on the internet and also uh, go into every question you have about drums, how I can help you make a better record from your home studio, and uh, you know anything you can think of related to drums. Now, before we leave, okay, um, you have a lot of stuff going on in the course about recording drums, but you still have a part on mixing. Yeah, so there's I, I still go into um, a complete module where I where I talk about how I approach mixing drums. I do everything from uh, going through individual drums to talking about um, one of the most important things, which is how to make your drums exciting using parallel compression. So parallel compression, you you may probably be familiar with the idea, but I talk about the ways that I can use it, um, the ways that you can use it to mix your drums in your studio and really bring out all kinds of excitement, but maintain all the punch and all the power of a real pro mix, you know, and not have things get too squishy sounding, you know, in the cool. drums. Perfect. So guys, um, I think we're going to have to end up the, uh, the stream. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Give so me Click through no. right now. Go, Guys, go, go click on the link click, and uh, click. click. Yeah. Um, you know, let's say, okay, what if we just keep that link open for the next 10 minutes? Okay, so it gives time to people. Oh, to, yeah, no problem. Um, It'll take me that long. The page to go. And stuff. Yeah. And, uh, so we're going to end up right now. And guys, thank you very much to um, for being here tonight with me and Lidge. Um, I really appreciate you. And uh, thanks, Lidge, for uh, being here tonight. And uh, you're always welcome 
on Mixdown Online. Yeah, thank you all of you for inviting me to join you. And thank you so much for being here in the live chat, asking all your great questions and just hanging out with us. It was a pleasure to be here. All right, guys. So take care and I'll see you around. All right. Go make your best record ever. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Ciao.